Good morning, everyone, and welcome to uh, this week's edition of Wednesday Web Chat. Uh, excuse me there while I was just making sure that someone had the invite. <clears throat> uh, this is Carl Lewis, your host for today, and uh, we want to jump right into our topic, which this morning is going to be another one of the features in uh, SAP Business One version 9.0. The new feature that we're going to be covering today is inventory counting. I understand that you kind of made that agreement, some of you, with uh, Dean Garrison last week, and so I'm following up on uh, your request to cover that topic. Uh, as always, you can uh, raise your hand, ask questions, put questions into the question box, and uh, at some point during today's presentation, I'll try to do my best to answer those for you. The basic steps uh, that uh, version 9.0 has for inventory counting, you'll see on this uh, uh, PowerPoint slide here, and I'm going to try to use that as a guide to uh, remind myself of what we're supposed to be doing as we go through these things together so that I follow the uh, recommended steps from uh, SAP. Um, to do that, we're going to bring up our version 9 here and uh, be able to take a look at these various processes. As you probably noticed last week in your first look into version 9, it is a bit of a different color, look, and feel. Uh, they call it the golden thread, uh, and keeping in mind that you can always go back and use the uh, design and colors as per version 8.8, 8.1, 8.2, or even all the way back to the uh, default screens that were in 2007 and previous. So if you don't like the new uh, color scheme, you're always welcome to use one of the old ones as well. So to utilize the new counting functions in version 9.0, you start off uh, by setting up, uh, let me get rid of a couple of things here so they don't bother us again. Um, you start off by setting up um, cycles that you want to create. So inventory. 